after Far Cry Primal, we're finally getting another Far Cry game coming out in February of 2018. What's happening guys? Sam Adams here and welcome to On The Topic Of and today we're going to be having kind of a brief episode <laughs> because it is Memorial Day weekend, got a lot of celebrating to do. I'll be doing some live streams here and there and in general it's a very busy time. However, we have to talk about the fact that Far Cry 5 has been officially unveiled. It's been teased all week and Ubisoft finally dropped the bomb along with some pretty hefty details. So of course you do have the announcement trailer right here, but on top of that we also have the official description for the game which reads, Welcome to Hope County, Montana. When your arrival incites the cult to violently seize control of the region, you must rise up and spark the fires of resistance to liberate a besieged community. Freely explore Hope County's rivers, lands, and skies with the largest customizable weapon and vehicle roster ever in a Far Cry game. You are the hero of the story in a thrilling world that hits back with every punch and where the places you discover and the locals you ally with will shape your story in ways you will never see coming. So right off the bat, I would say that I'm about a 6 out of 10 as far as hype goes for Far Cry 5 right now because it is more interesting than I thought that it would be, but I am still kind of on the fence. One thing I do love, however, is the setting of Hope County, Montana. Now, whenever you're thinking about the setting of a Far Cry game, it's generally the jungle of Far Cry 3 for a lot of people. Or on top of that, you also have the Himalayan mountains of Far Cry 4. But with Far Cry 5, it seems to be more of a uh, Midwestern town in the middle of America, which to some may seem a little bit boring boring, but I think if you throw in enough kinds of buildings and variations with lakes and different kinds of vehicles and things, it could actually be a pretty great fit for a Far Cry game. Of course, I'm sure the map designers are doing some incredible things over there at Ubisoft, but on top of that, there is going to be a full map designer within the game itself, so if you have some kind of map that you want to design, you very well can probably do that whenever the game does come out on February 27th of 2018 for the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, and the PC. Now, as far as the story goes so far, I'm going going to go ahead and go out on a limb and say they aren't really trying anything new here. Uh, now, of course, you do have the cult uh, kind of vibe going on where you're going to have to, of course, kill the leader. You're going to have to convert some local people. You're going to inevitably find somebody that's against the cult, but they just haven't had the manpower to rebel yet, and then you're going to team up and take them down with some rebellion. Uh, it's pretty much the exact same thing we saw in Far Cry 3 and Far Cry 4. Just now you have Midwestern hillbillies that have been compared to Trump supporters on Twitter uh, over the course of the past week. So that's pretty much what I think about the overall story that's been revealed so far. Over the course of the next couple of weeks with E3 coming up, we're going to be hearing a lot more about Far Cry 5, I guarantee it. Uh, but as far as an announcement goes where you're just getting kind of a premise of the story, what the setting is going to entail, and some general ideas about the game, this has been a pretty good one as far as I can tell. So that about wraps it up for this episode of On the Topic Of. If you enjoyed, drop me a like down below and let me know what you think about Far Cry 5. Is it too similar to the other games? Is it too boring to be set in Montana? What do you think about the new announcement for the game? And if you happen to be new to the channel, I do upload new stuff throughout the week, so there is always something new right here on the channel when you do drop by to watch some videos. But as for right now, I'm going to go prep for this podcast, probably go for a run, do some Memorial Day things. I will talk to you soon. Peace.